Um, as always, I want to thank you for coming to another session to get aside with Mark. Motion of arm, yes, please. Arm across the chest. Trying to meditate. Eyes closed, deep breath.
right hand and the left knee at the same time. We go up, down, up, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, ten, down, good job, good job. Left leg, left, left arm, left hand, right leg. Let's go. One, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, one, down, 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 and, and emotionally, you, you're welcome to join us. How much longer do you have to do for the day? To, uh, I go from 10 to 11, every second, third, and fourth um, Monday. All right, if I can do it with the clothes I have on. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we're not, we're not going to sweat too much. I mean, <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. Is that okay with you, Sam? Back, eight, 
back. Nine, ten, keep going, on fifteen. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Good job. Fourteen and fifteen. Good job, good job, good job. Good job. Right hand on your hip. All right, take your left foot out. Left arm up. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Left foot out like this. On the floor, on the floor. Uh, yeah. 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 And we're going to do that because that way you don't have to worry about lifting it up. Okay. We're going to go with the right foot now. We're going to go one with the right foot. Bring your right foot. And left hand. And left hand up. Left go down. There you go. Okay. And back. Go down. And up. Two. Down, three, four, back straight, keep back straight, okay. five, good job, get some deep breath, six, all right, seven, all right, all right, eight, come on, nine, so I'm sweating myself, ten, eleven, good job, good job, twelve, thirteen, 14 and 15. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. All right, sit on the edge of your seat. Sit on the edge of your seat. Hands across the chest. Hands across the chest. Then that was what? No, no, no. Let's go up. Okay, good. And down. That's one. And up. And down. Go ahead and um, I'm going to go away from the norm right now because we did 
did a little exercise. I want to just hands across the chest, eyes closed, deep breaths. Just meditate for a little while longer. Just meditate. Just meditate. Just think healthy thoughts. Think godly thoughts. Think, think holy thoughts right now.
the U.S. for dogs uh -huh. and Adelaide. And both of those have controlled substances. Okay. They were together with the community. But see, I tell all the time, so you're not dealing with food. Right. Anybody who is a child of God mm -hmm. can have a mind of Christ right. if they want to. Right. And I kept confessing, I have a mind of Christ. And I would tell them all the time. Right. And they would ask me sometimes, and how would you know that? I said, it, like I said, I have the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. I think they were trying to put a rap on me. Okay. And for what reason, I don't know, other than the fact that I am a strong Christian woman. Yes, ma'am. And not only am I strong within myself, I try to, you know, reach out to mm -hmm. others mm -hmm. because I have a ministry right. business called Making a Difference mm -hmm. for Jesus Christ right. 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 helping people. Mm -hmm. I usually use just making a difference. Right. FJC, and you know, for Jesus Christ. And I think what it is, they just wanted to discourage me. Okay. But you can't discourage me in professing my Christianity. Right. And you can't tell me to stop talking about him, even though it is unconstitutional. Because the Bible says that if he tells us to do something, no, the Bible says that we should obey him, God. Rather than me. Right. So that makes it short. Yeah. And yeah. as far as trying to become the uh, uh, socially, what is that? Correct. Politically correct. Right. Right. I'm not trying to be politically correct. Right. I'm trying to be biblical True. correct. True. So we just had it. Right. And they would steal things from me. Right. Because what, let me say this for a second. Because the Bible does tell us to, um, oh, uh, to obey, the obey, law, obey the law. Obey. But, 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 but it also says that God's word supersedes all that. That's it. Yeah. I, I am very obedient. Right. 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 right, right. And right. I told my son, they arrested right. me twice yeah. with uh, false charges. Mm -hmm. Couldn't keep me in there because <laughs> right. Right. I told you, you arrest me, I'm going to do like Paul and Silas, and I'm going to stay in prayer. Right. Right. And that's what I did. Jailhouse Rock. The jailhouse rock. I did the jailhouse rock. <laughs> Yeah. 
Right. You're in your high 90s. 90, okay. And so this is a sister that has known me since the first onset of the chemical imbalance because I've not had chemical imbalance all of my life. Right, right, right. So when, when do you think it started? How old are you right now? Yeah, 65. 65. So how long ago did it start? Um, in about the early 90s. Okay, so you were in your 50s? I was in my 50s. Okay. Uh, late 40s. Late 40s, early 50s. Okay. Late 40s. Okay. 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 And I mean, I hadn't had to go to the hospital. I right. stayed away from, I shot away from doctors because I didn't like medication or whatever. Like, I don't like rules. Right. I like natural products, like herbal products, right. things like that. Fruit and vegetables. Um, fruit and vegetables. Fruit and vegetables, yeah. exercise, right. water. And they try to make like I was on alcohol, and some folks try to make like I was taking our own drugs right. because, unfortunately, the medication mimics drugs. Right, 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 right. right. I mean, the behavior that was manifested as a result of over medication, right. highly right. over medication, right. right. and with that, that <coughs> drug. Right, right, right. And uh, you know, like, you know, with any medication, can become addicted to it and you you get high off of it, you know. Any, I mean prescription or you know, yeah. not prescription, I mean that's that's the fact. That's the that was a fact, and yeah. that's what was happening. I told right. that's I didn't want that to be right. that's not that didn't I didn't require that to have the chemical imbalance and you need to be just addressing the chemical imbalance. Right. They kept saying and then a lot of times people listen to me because they had said that I was mentally ill. Mm -hmm. And in fact they said I was bipolar. Okay. okay. And that made it very difficult for me to get anybody to listen to me. But I, God gave me a judge that. What was the last part? You said anybody listen to you. I said that the fact that they had they, they, said, they, they labeled you. They labeled me by right. soul. And then people. They wouldn't listen. They wouldn't listen. That's they what I thought they would They would right. value my statement because they would say, oh, she's a bipolar. Right, 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 right. Instead of, instead of really getting to know you, they label you. And like I said, I do have a mental health background. I do have a, a, a counseling background. But they label me. Right. I, I wouldn't mind the label. Every time you tell me, I said, right. what I'm going to do your label. Yeah, yeah. Split over. Yeah. And yeah. I did just like that. I said, right. you would never label me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just, to this day, I won't accept that label. Right, right. I right. told them, I said, I told you what I am before I came here, and you would listen to me, and you would treat me. I said, now what happened is, some of the medication they gave me, like Paxil, I did some research once I found right. out about the medication, and they said Paxil can cause bipolar. Oh, okay. That's one of the side effects of bipolar. Uh, can, can actually cause it. Wow. It's actually, they can cause yeah. bipolar. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like I'm, a lot of people, that's why I talk to people sometimes, I talk to people to find out right. they have relatives that are in the hospital. Right. I tell them about my experience, yes. tell them they need to be really did help them mm -hmm. really because they they when they was that I went to court several times. Right. Each time the Lord gave me the victory mm -hmm. in court over the doctors. Right. right. That made all of them as angry as they could be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so um I haven't I haven't seen you Oh that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Take the time, take the time. It was, oh, I know. Uh, uh, one doctor, one of the court cases I had, and I told him, he, he asked me, he said, what is it that you want? And I told him, I want, to go, I want the people to get off my back. Uh -huh. I want to go home and live my life, the life that God intended for me to live. Right. And he says, basically, request granted. And when he said that, the doctor that was opposing me just got up, dressed uh -huh. down the court. <laughs> well, see, that's what I'm saying. Right. Oh, I know what I'm saying. Yes. I'm very excited. The people mm -hmm. who have, I partially am, just tell them they need to really monitor that people, be aware of what's going on, well, because it, you can keep a person in a mental ill state right. by right. over keeping them over medicated. Yeah. Yeah. And as I was spending the sitting, I know what I was thinking about now. Each time I would go to the doctor, go to the court. Yeah. The form that I that they had me, you know, to go to the court with, right. this was a state situation. Uh -huh. It would always say that she.
seem not getting any better. Mm -hmm. And they were considering that I needed to be, you know, institutionalized. So because I was not getting any better. How, how do you feel right now? I feel like feel that, it sounds like you feel liberated. I feel so free. Yeah. I feel like I died and gone to heaven. <laughs> so now I tell them I'm glad they did it. Yeah. I said because what they meant for evil. Right. You know, I God turned out for good. Right. See, I never let that go of him. And he never let go of me. Okay, okay, okay. And then my old grandparents used to say, God, when they be praying, he's a hard fixer. And a mind regulated, and I could hear my old folk praying that prayer, and I kept reminding God, God, you are all this, and a mind regulated. He got the dimness out of my heart, right, right, and right. he also uh, regulated my mind. Mm -hmm. so I told him, I've got it all down, and I've ever been. So you feel delivered? I've been delivered. Yeah, yeah. Been delivered, yeah. delivered. And I've been set free. I like to say deliverance from fear to freedom. That's right, that's, that's okay. a friend of mine. Yeah. Well, so, I've truly been to never, and I'm walking to never now, and I try to help other people. Right. Because I told them, I said, all you want to do is help keep me buying your Jaguar. Okay, okay. And keep you living in North Dallas. Right. And keep <laughs> you living in these uh, mansion homes uh -huh. while we in the South and Oakland and everything are uh -huh. paying for you to be able to do that. Okay, okay. And you are over medicating us. And you know, not actually doing proper practice, I said, you yeah. are now practicing. Mm -hmm. But I said, it's greed that's calling you to do it. Okay. I said, if a person, persons, I mean, if a person, person, never calls you to treat them humane, mm -hmm. it's something wrong with them. Right, that's right, right. Well, my question is, okay. Let me tell you, for okay. they also ridiculed me about any time I'll say something about God. Yeah. And it's better they ask me, do you hear voices? That was one question they always would ask, do you hear voices? I said, no, I don't hear voices. I hear a hey, voice. And I would quote that scripture. Yeah. My sheep hears my voice, yeah. and a stranger, he yeah. will not follow. And they just could not stand me because right. I never would count out to yeah, 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 yeah. And, and you know something, that's a testimony. And and I'm not knocking, I mean, I see it from both sides. Uh -huh. Like I said, I do have a, a bachelor's and a master's in counseling. You know, I plan on, I plan on going for, well, not a PhD in counseling, but I plan on going for a doctorate in education with uh -huh. um, in concentration in, in, in ministry. But my point over, yeah. Yeah, over DPBU, that's my goal. But I gotta get my kids straight. That's another story though. Anyway. I wish you the best. Thank you. We need Thank those kind of people. My point is, Mr. Robert, is that many times we um oh oh Mr. Robert. I don't know. Okay. I'm I'm running this man at all. I'm running with you. Yeah. Thank you. My point is, I I've, I've seen both sides of the fence. In other yeah. words, I I work with physicians and surgeons for years, okay? okay. I used to be a scrub nurse. I used to work in surgery. I've done head, head and toe surgery, okay? okay. Uh, my main thing I used to do was um, brain surgery as a scrub nurse, you know, surgical tech, whatever you want to call it, they had changeable. Uh -huh. and, um, and I worked on the mental health side. I was a psychiatrist, and, you know, psychologist, and, you know, and, and a lot of nice professional counselors. But my point is, I'm not big on labels. Oh, That's not what, even, not even when I was going through my training, Mr. Robert, I don't like labeling anybody because, it, like you said, eventually that label, sometimes the person will even consider themselves or call themselves, well, I'm bipolar. No, you, 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 you know, you may have, you may have, quote unquote, the disease, but the disease doesn't necessarily have you. Right. Who has been diagnosed? Right, right, right. And don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There are situations. I mean, I mean, I, I know about healthcare, mental healthcare, physical health. I know all about that. Okay, I've been, in, I've been in, in, in healthcare for over twenty years. Okay, and I, I tell you, I've seen both sides of the coin. And 
they, they are, you know, yeah, they, there, there are some, yeah, yeah, there, there are cases where they're legit. But then there's cases with you where, okay, don't put something on me that I'm not feeling, that I know, you know what I'm saying? And I, I have a problem with that, you know, and, and, I, and, and it's just, you know you. That's it. I told I've been going me for over 60 years yeah. now. I said, where were you? Right. Remind you? Right. And all that. I said, if I needed you so well, right. then I would have been dead by now. Now you, I was not available. You, wouldn't, you were not available to me at that age. Now you mentioned you wish I was around three or five years ago for emotional empowerment. What do you, what do you mean by that? I was what now? You mentioned earlier you wish I was around mm -hmm. with this ministry. Right. Or, you know, with, with emotional empowerment three to five years ago. What did you mean by that though? Because my psyche was not all okay. together. Okay, okay, okay. They were, you know, coming in in every right. direction and I couldn't get any help. I couldn't get any help from the police department. Right. I couldn't get any help from I was in another other place that I went, you know, right. and it's simply because they found out that I was I had been diagnosed on the papers yeah. with bipolar, right. and then that was like, hey, this is not the case. Yeah. This lady doesn't even know. She needs that medication. Right. Right. And most of the time, when I would meet the police sometimes, yeah. they would say, that's the first thing they would do. They didn't ask me how I was doing. Right. They would ask me, why are you taking your medication? Yeah. Yeah. And then here, as the man in here, uh, would tell me, you know, you need to take your medication. I say, and I bought me a button that said, is it time for your, my, your medication yeah. or mine? Uh, uh, In other words, I told them a lot of times, I said, you, you seem like you need more medication than I <laughs> The talking doctor, but now I'm not one doctor. I have given credit. Uh -huh. His name is Frank Nimitz. Okay. He's a Christian, uh -huh. he's a psychiatrist, uh -huh. psychologist, all that you know. And he helped, he helped me a lot. Okay. He, I, he is not, he's a private and private practice. Uh -huh. I had to get away from state yeah. Yeah. and go into private practice. Mm -hmm. And during the time that I was dealing with the state, I read, they read some articles on, you know, mental illness or right. something in the paper. They had like the whole two pages in front and back, you uh -huh. know, uh -huh. all that. Right, right. And they were saying that one person had been at an institution had been allowed to stay in the bed so long that they counted like 35 maggots in his head. Wow. They didn't even learn to work with you. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's, that's, that's negligence. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, mm -hmm. um, yeah, negligence. And, um, I mean, for that, them to breathe in the head, you know, that means that they had made the person they couldn't I mean, that was oversight, but they wanted to get me. They wanted to keep me in terrible. That's why they wanted to get me. Mm -hmm. They, they sent me a terrible write off. Right, right. I said, they wanted to tell, I, I tell them, I mean, I tell people. Right. That they sent me a terrible, terrible out of me. Mm -hmm. I never put away in any kind of situation. Right, right. right. You know, I just free bird all my life. Right. I said, but I went there and terrible out of terrible. Mm -hmm. I walked in there and I stung my feet and I said, Say it! In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I come to serve notice on you. Right. Your hand here is up. Yeah. I decree and declare that you are, you have been evicted mm -hmm. and you have to leave. Right. And I mean, the atmosphere and everything good started changing. Yeah. And I went there, curse, curse, and curse, and curse, and fight at each other and everything. Because they kept people confined in this little room. But all that back land, you know, fenced in back there, I kind of let us go outside on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. Just, I told them, I said, you don't want to, you're not trying to choose humanely. You want to be here, and I would tell them all the time, you, talk, you look at your pocket. You don't care about us, and you're not trying to help us. Oh, yes, you are. I said, convince me. Right, right. Well, question. Um, like I said, we've been talking about suicide, and doing those three to five years, Um, because it sounds like you, you hit a low. Oh yeah, depression. depression. I did hit some lows. Okay, so how was that? And, 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 and I'm not Never, ever did I have suicide thoughts. Okay. Every time I go there, I never want to say, you're going to ask me other questions. Don't ask me that anymore. Right, right, right. You're going to ask me something. I say, I am not suicidal. Yeah, yeah. I say, I shall not die, but believe and declare the works of the Lord. Yeah. I said, this is only a season. I am not going to let you, you know, 
Halloween, right. to commit suicide. Yeah. Yeah. I said, God says he has a plan yeah. and a purpose. I'm right. just saying, I would just quote the book on it. Right, right, right. And right. they didn't like that. And yeah. then I have family. Yeah. I have grandkids, a daughter, son-in-law, you know, sisters, some of the best relatives you can believe in. Right, right. I
Y'all have my money, and we're going to find it. Right. And the Holy Spirit put in my spirit what to tell them to do. Right. And they found my money. And believe it or not, uh -huh. the person who worked at the counter and I was on the floor to help me find my money, get right. my money, both of them ended up leaving that uh, bank. Right. And I don't know where they went, but right. I never saw them again.
I was not about to right. put that insulin in me and then be broke down right. and then couldn't, you know, I want to, I want to be violent right, 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 right. and stuff like that. You don't want to be so, to the point where you just, you just, drag, yeah, dragging yeah, and you don't have any life. I mean, right. yeah, you're treating yourself for the best, but it's like, <laughs> You treating yourself for the best, but you can't live to, to see the, the treatment. I mean, like, boy, it's being perfect, you know. And so that's what stayed in my mind. So I said, "Oh no." Right. So, but anyway, I was glad I got straight yeah. And then when they sent me to the uh, endocrinologist, uh -huh. everything just worked out all all the way. Right, right. Everything is on an even scale. It might not be up to fifty, but right. it's so near fifty. But right. that, but that's not that's not like taking it on, right. putting right. it in that yeah. syringe and and, just, and and putting it in me, right. whereas you put in 25 in the morning, 5 in the, in the noon day, right. and 20 at night, yeah. you know, so. Spreading it out. Spreading it out. Yeah, all one, 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 right. one, yeah. Yes, ma'am. One, I found out in the hospital, and they wanted to give us a controlled substance, uh -huh. and I didn't want to take them. Right. So they had several of them come to the room, and they basically held me down. You know, by injection. Right. I slept a day and a half. And when I woke up. Just groggy, huh? No, not groggy. They over injected me and called me to sleep. Right, right. Couldn't wake up. But I'm saying, okay, while well, I go out and I, I, I jumped the gun. Well, I was asking, when you finally sort of got up, were you groggy or no? Right. Yeah, that's what I mean. Still a little yeah. bit right, groggy right, and right. all of that. But right. I had other side effects. Yeah. I like and all that. And then there was one lady who basically washed over me yeah. because she was so concerned because right. my breath breathing right. Right, right, right. was not normal. It got real sharp. Yeah. Yeah. And she said she washed over me anyway. She ended up leaving too. Unfortunately, at that particular time, anybody who seemed like they wanted to help me, or care, have to care for me, they ended up being ostracized. I been put aside, yeah. you know. Yeah. And they told me I was in denial the whole time. They said denial, and then we had a conflict like that we have here. Right. And denial they didn't even know I had lied. Oh, that you were lying? That's what the denial Right, right, yeah, the, the acronym. The acronym. Yeah, like, didn't they even know I was lying. That I am lying. That I am lying. Okay. Wow, that, that's deep. Didn't even know. And granted, granted, granted. Granted, the, 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 the D-E-N is K-N, <laughs> you know what I mean? No, didn't even know, mm -hmm. I am lying. But anyway, nah, I didn't do that. But anyway, the point is, it's just, that, 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 that's just, that's, that's. But I was very angry when yeah. I woke up. I, I thought it was just the next day. Yeah. And I was talking about the next day, and no, this is, you know, like a day later. I said, no, it's not, because I came in. Right, they right. said, no, you didn't wake up. And you know something, Bernice, I'm glad you know, we had this discussion, it was necessary for this moment, it really was. And a lot of Miss Andy to, to discuss too, because my mother back in Michigan, uh, she was taking some pill that she had been taking just to be taken. And I finally said, Mom, are you sure you really need to be taking it? And then she went to another, and my point is, it's, it's, it's best, okay, to be well informed. You know, you are the consumer, you're the customer, it's your body. That's it. That's so, so it's best, Mr. Robert, that you take care of yourself, read as much as you can to know about what you're taking. That's right. Because, again, um, granted, they do have great knowledge. Lots of them do. You know, the, the physicians, the surgeons, whatever, they, they, have, they have knowledge that only a certain percentage people have. Okay? Uh, yeah, but my thinking is this. You know yourself as well, okay? They can only go pretty much on symptoms for the most part. Mm -hmm. and, um, but it's best you take care of yourself too though. That's right. It's best you, you, you educate yourself, yeah. you inform yourself, because you are, I said, you're the customer and what's going on inside of you 
what, what you're taking, you know, and if you have an allergic reaction to, you know, only really you can come up, you know, only really, only you can really say that. Because right. uh -huh. you, they want to know. Right, right. right. And, and, so what's my point? My point is, educate yourself. That's what I told my mother. I told her to educate herself. I said, Mom, you might want a second or third opinion, you know, because, you know, that becomes necessary. You know, and so I'm glad we had this discussion.
suicide? Well, I, I work on the suicide crisis line here in, for, for North Texas. And, uh, cut this off. And, uh,